Today we're going to create a moon phase mobile. A mobile is a piece of art that hangs either from a ceiling or from a wall. We're going to start with the new moon. So for that we're going to need six of your white circles. We're going to fold them all in half like tacos, line them up, and glue them together. Only put the glue on one side of your um, circle and then just line them up and stick the next one. This will make gluing go a lot faster. Glue them three at a time. So glue three together and then glue the other three together separately in a different half. You'll see why in just a minute. So we've got both sides glued together, all three, and now we're going to take some string. I picked three strings that kind of remind me of galaxy colors, purples and greens and um, blues. And I'm going to take that one of the halves and I'm going to lay the strings across the middle. And then I'm gonna put glue all over both sides of the flat half of the other three that I glued together. And then I'll stick it in a sandwich with the strings going through the middle. Take a minute to kind of fluff it up and make sure that it's all nicely um, spinning and looking good 3D and then tie another knot underneath it just to kind of keep it in place and keep it anchored there. I also have a knot at the top just to start it off. All right next we're going to do the waxing moon. For the waxing moon you're going to do one black and five white pieces. So there's one black and two white on one side and then three white on the other side. Put them all together the same exact way by gluing one side, lining them up, and um, piling them on top of each other. Three on one side and three on the other side. Be careful to always make sure they're lined up as much as you can. Get both sides all glued. And then put them on the string the same way you did the first one. Refold, tie your knot, and get ready to do the next stage of the moon, which is the half moon. So three black and three white this time. Put all the black on the same side and all the white on the same side. Put them together three at a time. You guys know the drill by now. Wow, my glue stick really doesn't want to stay there. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to put that right onto the string. I'm leaving about a finger width of string between each of the um, circle pieces that I put on there. So make sure that you are leaving a little space between each. The waning moon is going to have five black pieces and one white piece. Put those together, three, all three black on one side and two and one on the other side. Match them up, put them on your string and tie your knot. When you're putting them together, always be really careful to get a lot of glue stick toward the outside edges. And that really helps to glue your mobile pieces together and make them look nice and tidy. All right, good. Tie the knot and then we are onto the new moon, very last, which is going to be all six pieces black. So you're gonna go ahead and Line those up, glue them, fold them just the exact same way, and get ready to put them on your string. If you're struggling at all with putting things on strings or making them stick together neatly, slow down and ask for help. Make sure you're putting that glue on the flat side. Okay. Now all of the phases are stuck together. You should have five moon phases, tie a knot at the very end, 
And then it's time to kind of decorate the end. We are gonna make a tassel out of some of the extra string. So I cut some extra off of the end. I'm gonna trim it up and then it makes a nice tassel. It's ready to hang. There's my moon phase mobile. It has all the different moon phases. And when you hang it up, it'll look pretty fun. Especially if you hang it somewhere where it can spin. I think that's what makes it look the best. If you wanted to do something extra, you could actually decorate your pieces to look like the moon before you put them together. Have so much fun creating this.